And now wait, is this uh, an hour rod here? It is an hour rod. So is this uh, a myeloid leukemia then? Well, and, maybe. And yes, that is also the test answer. Uh, my world was shattered a few months ago when I read that some B ALLs have hour rod like inclusions. And wow. I went in a corner and cried a little bit. Because yeah. that was like the one certainty I felt like I had is that if you saw an hour rod, you had some sort of you know, acute myeloid leukemia. So you're, um, so be careful. So the point is, is that this cell right here is a lymphoid blast mm -hmm. and this cell here is a myeloid blast, but it could be easy to confuse those. Oh, absolutely. And you sometimes get uh, lymphoid blasts that look exactly like that. Usually mine is the owl rod. Uh, morphologically, it's not a really good way to go. I used to tell residents, uh, if you saw an owl rod, you could call like acute myeloid leukemia. And now I feel like I can't tell them that anymore but I've, common things being common it's most likely going to be acute myeloid leukemia. I feel the same in all parts of pathology anytime there's a rule that I'm like this always works eventually I will see something or someone will publish a paper that makes it like well this always works almost always but then every once in a while there's a rare exception right eventually all the yeah. rules get broken in in medicine I think